Now, the fifth movement is the reason that this piece is so famous and loved today, the Laudate Dominum. This is a beautiful uh, movement for really the soprano soloist, and the chorus comes in at the Gloria Patri. This, in contrast to the first, uh, the previous movement, the Laudate Pueri, which is kind of that Stilla Antico style, this is much more modern, the Stilla Moderno, so um, kind of the height of the classical era. And here we have, again, this infinsum touch, which is kind of a subgenre of the classical era. It means sentimental, right? So this is kind of a very wistful, um, nostalgic melody. And um, I think it, this one really captures the text well in a, kind of a, a simple, sincere, kind of unembellished uh, statement of faith. Now, this is different from the Still Antico in so many ways, and I think this is very close in a way to opera. It's a beautiful melody. It's one of the most singable melodies out there. Um, but he does allow the soprano soloist to shine, as Mozart often did, and there's kind of a little cadenza at the end. And a cadenza is this uh, thing that happens in, in operas or in um, concertos where the soloist is kind of, a, there's written out in a very ornamental line. And the soloist is obviously playing that or singing that to show off. And then they can even embellish it further to show off their virtuosity. So here at the end of the uh, movement, she goes, she goes way up all on this melisma and then right back down and has this little trill at the end, even with some 30 second notes. And it's just as um, just this beautiful uh, denouement that allows her to show off and with the support of the chorus underneath. 